Today we're going to show you True Ride Seals for trailer bearings, part number GS-2250DL. Alright, now it has an inside dimension of 2.250 inches and an outside diameter of 3.376 inches. Now this seal is typically used in applications where you have an easy loop axle. And you can also use it on normal axles as well. It has two seals to help keep out water and road grime. All right, now when you replace your seal, you want to verify you have the right size. So you can go by outside and inside dimensions, but also look for a number that's on the seal. In this case, our new one is easy to see. You have the GS-2250DL. A lot of times, this seal, will act, this number will also be printed on the rubber edge as well. You can use these numbers to cross-reference to find the exact seal. All right, a couple tips on removing the old seal first before you can install the new seal is that you want to get you want to go ahead and just uh, catch an edge right here. You can use a chisel like this and, and tap it in behind it and pop it out that way. A little bit less desirable, but still works. There's an old screwdriver you don't want anymore. You can beat it up, pop it up like that as well. Now, when you remove the old seal and you use a screwdriver or a chisel, make sure that you only go part way down and try to work it out from there. It is possible you can go through the seal and you actually start hammering on the bearing underneath. Then you may have to go ahead and re replace the bearing at that point. Now, if you can secure a hub, maybe put it in a bench vise, you can actually get a hold of the edge of a seal or pry bar and using wood blocks as your fulcrum and pop it up that way. Now, that's not going to come up as easy as I have here, of course, because mine's been started already, but that'll give you an idea how to pop it out. But the key to making this work is having to make sure that you have your hub secured first. Okay. Now, to install the new seal, Pretty simple, you just drive it until it's flush. But there is a couple things you want to look out for. The ideal tool is a, is a, seal, is a driver that basically is a, is a completely flat metal surface that you can hammer into place. And that's the best way to do it because what you want to do is make sure it sits flush in there. You don't want it oscillating on the spindle, otherwise that kind of makes it wear out a little bit faster. So if you're on the side of a road or this is a one-off deal, you can also get away with a wood block. Make sure the surface that you use is completely flat. Okay. And what you want to end up is your seal flush with the hub. You don't have to drive it full, fully, it just has to be flush with this edge. Okay, and with that, that'll finish it for a True Ride Seals for trailer bearings. Part number GS-2250DL.